Alrighty guys, welcome back to episode 2 of Back to the Future. Now this episode is going to be called Get Tannin and this is going to pick up right where episode 1 left off. So let's just go ahead and start. Of course it's going to start up just like it normally does. And it's currently Saturday, June 13th, 1931. Episode 2, Get Tannin. And then, of course, he's gonna, gonna say all that. But if you guys remember where episode 1 left off, Morty started, like, disappearing, it seemed like. So I'm excited to find out what happens to that, and if he actually does disappear. I don't know. Unless uh, tomorrow's newspaper. Do you still have it? Yeah. Local accountant beaten. Left for dead. Local accountant Arthur McFly was severely beaten and left for dead on the steps from the Hill Valley Courthouse last night. They're gonna kill my grandpa? Tannen's goons, no doubt. Probably in retaliation for Arthur answering that subpoena you delivered. What are we gonna do? So even though sure. we saved him, his grandpa is According still going to his die. His grandfather was dumped on the doorsteps of the courthouse five minutes ago. My that dad's sucks. picture is disappearing. That's a time stream catching up with your grandfather's fatal wounds. Which means your father will never be born. And neither will you. Unless... Well, that sucks. We gotta go back in time, I guess. Further back in time, when that is. When last your grandfather? Four o'clock in the town square. Let's give him enough time to make his deposition. Right. We'll have to be careful not to run into ourselves. That shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, in your exactly. Case. I mean, you were in jail. All right, let's get moving before the police find us. Freeze. Uh, They've already found us. Step out of the car with your hands up. What is time travel against the law nowadays? I mean, how does that work? Evade the cop and get to the past. Okay. Why won't let me move though? Okay, I guess I just gotta move like that. Crap! I heard something back there. No, you did not. Oh crap! He's gonna shoot him. Nothing's back here. Well, looks like I caught me a fugitive. Carl Sagan, me the speakeasy arsonist. Yeah, exactly. Front Alleged bumper. speakeasy arsonist, if you don't mind. Oh, thanks for dropping me the keys. What the heck kind of buggy is that? Even though how am I supposed Stay to down. get to it? It's a prototype still untested. Liable to blow up at any moment. Crap. Or suddenly Think I gotta go over here. Is that so? Yeah, that is so. I think the night air is playing tricks on you, officer. I didn't do anything. Oh crap. Don't shoot him. What is it? Some kind of foreign job? Uh. Or German or something? Not at all. This is solid okay. workmanship. So I gotta try and get those call keys he dropped. Now I'm sure something's back there. Nothing's back there. Don't wor worry about it. Looks like something. And there's the keys. Rogers. A year from now, everybody will be driving these babies. Huh. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Oh crap, now what? I wouldn't be surprised if Now I gotta go back here. You're getting to be a valuable commodity in Hill Valley. Come on, just move again. I hope you don't mind cooling off a few oh, minutes crap. till reinforcements get here. I don't mind, but the car may have other ideas. Okay, so how am I supposed to get past him what now? Was what was what? Crap! I heard something back there. Now he's I just repeating the same the thing. Answer. Okay. I'd like to get a closer look at that getaway car. So let's go over here now. I didn't hear anything. And then go into the driver's side. You're probably right. It was nothing. And there we go. 
There we go, we made it. Nice. Yeah, see ya. Well, looks like he's gonna be in jail again. He just got out of jail and already he's gonna be back in. But now we are going back in time to try and save our grandpa. What was that? Time travel, my friend. Have you never heard of it? So, this is taking a while. I always never know what to say during the loading screens. So awkward. 455. Artie's gotta be in there somewhere, spilling his guts to the DA. There he is. All I gotta do is get to him before. Mr. Callahan! Oh, great. What do you want? I was wondering if I could do a little follow up interview with you about the plight of poor Mr. Sagan. My sources indicate that no, you Brown cannot. Is free tomorrow. I wouldn't bet on that. What's that? Nothing. Listen, can we talk later? I've really got to get to the courthouse right now. Really? Why? Um, my grandpa needs me. My grandpa needs me as a character witness to get a fishing license. A fishing license? Oh, Seriously? Well then, carry on. And do put that vicious dog of yours on a leash, will you? We have lost. Oh yeah, I forgot about Einstein. Yeah, no problem. And there's me talking to what's his oh, face. Come on, yesterday, Marty, stop talking, get moving. Where is it, Einstein? Einstein? No, oh, don't tell me he's coming over here to us now. Einstein, what is it, boy? Sit. Sit. Aini, sit. No, do not come. Oh, that dog does not listen. I thought I trained you better. Einstein. Oh, crap. I need to hide. I thought I trained that dog better. But I guess not. Is it a squirrel, Aini? I am not no squirrel. Get past the obstacles and enter the courthouse to rescue Arthur. Okay. So. How am I supposed to do that now? Um, stick. Wanna play? Okay, let's play. Okay, now. What should we throw it at? Can we throw it over there? Oh, there we go. Go get it, boy. Where are you going, boy? Yeah, that's right. You leave. Oh, great. Well, that didn't work. You're killing me, Einie. Is it a squirrel, Einie? Okay. okay. Let's try this again. Um. Where else can we throw it, though? Yeah, let's hit her with it. Go get her, Einie. There we go. You. I did nothing. Get this mangy animal away from me! Oh, come on, Einstein, get away from the nice lady. My shoe. Einstein, no. Way to go, Well on. then. Now to get into that courthouse and grab Artie before Tannen's guys. Ah. Uh, uh. Yeah, I'm fixing to disappear. That's not good. Who is that guy? Don't think I've seen him before. Hey. Oh god. Oh now I'm he was to talk. According to my calculations, the rotary engine for a full-scale rocket drill requires 1.21 kilowatts of power. Can you check over my work to make sure? Are you all right? Yeah. Yeah. But I need to get to Arthur. Why? Um He needs help. He might be headed for an accident. Arthur McFly may not be the most coordinated fellow around, but I'm sure he can walk up a flight of stairs. I uh, doubt it. Shouldn't we be getting on with our work? We're on a strict You know, stairs are hard work. I mean, how do stairs really work? Start without me. Sure. You start without me. Turn around and start walking and I'll I'll catch up to you in just a few minutes. Huh? 
Start walking. Oh my god, what the One, two, one, what? two, one, two. Not that hard. Who are you talking to? I'm talking to you. No, I mean before, while I was walking towards you. I wasn't talking to anyone. I was working on equations for my rocket drill. No, I mean after. Uh, never mind. Let's get going. Follow me. I okay then. Never leave. At least now I have a clear shot to the courthouse. Yeah. Hopefully nobody else will get in our way. Okay, let's just go to the courthouse then. Okay, I don't know why I was going like fast motion right there, but whatever. You gotta come with me. Look, you're in a lot of danger. What do you mean I'm in danger? No time to explain, Grand Artie. Just promise Grand me the police station and talk. Artie McFly. Just the guy we're looking for. Hey, fellas. Run! Get him! Hey, what was that for? Okay, that was weird. Uh, I better pick up. I wonder if disappearing would actually hurt again. you. Like, if you kept on disappearing, would that actually cause any pain to you? Because he keeps on saying, like, ugh and org every time he starts disappearing. But it doesn't really seem like it would cause that big of a pain. Like, sure, maybe you'll feel something, but how painful would it be? Oh, well. I don't really know. I did not mean to pause it. Okay. So where am I supposed to go? Am I supposed to go in here? Yeah, I think I am. Looks clear. All right, McFly. Let's go see the boss. Yeah, go see your boss. You go right on ahead. Tell your boss I said hello. What is that supposed to say? Buddy, how's my favorite accountant doing? Oh, I've been better. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, McFly. Trixie, take a powder, doll. We got business to discuss. Hey, yo, you boys play nice now. Mwah. Nice to see you, Okay. Okay. You too, Miss Trotter. Yeah, yeah, we're all happy as clams. Now scram. <sighs> hey, um, can I get your number? Oh. What now? Are you guys stupid? What are you thinking? Bringing this fish food to my doorstep. We just thought that was your first mistake. Thinking. Look at me. Do you ever catch me thinking? Huh? No, because you don't got a brain. Uh, oh, bun. Look, just drag him inside, find out what he told the DA, then get rid of him. I think we can handle that. Good. Now, if you don't mind, I've got an arsonist to snuff out. Yeah, you go what snuff you out that arsonist. We're on it, kid. Okay, so now we gotta go rescue our grandpa. So far, so good. Or Audi. Huh. Oh crap, now his pics are slowly disappearing. I better get in there quick. Yeah, we're on a tight schedule here, Morty. Let's go in there. I don't think we could just walk right in, though. Why would you knock? What do you want? Some food? I'm the exterminator. Kid sent Kid me. Kid sent me to talk to Artie. No, he didn't. Scram. Okay, Watch obviously he didn't. Approach. Okay, so what now? You again? I said scram. I really don't think I'm getting in that way. Okay. I wonder if he would have let me in if I said I was a salesperson. I mean, I could be selling some valuable magazines or something. That he would definitely want. Oh crap. I need to hide in this crate then. Contents. One winged goddess. Oops. And it's broke. Nice going, Morty. Now you're selling one-winged Morty. So let's get in there. Hmm. Nice fit. 
Here goes nothing. I was about to say, are you going to close the door? You didn't even close it all the way. It's cue ball. Stir the soup, cue ball. Clean out the blood stains, cue ball. Shit. I'm not a gangster. I'm a freaking butler. Now, which one of you guys goes in first? Jeez, for a gal with no arms, you sure is heavy. Because I'm not a gal and I do have arms. So that must, exp that must explain why. Ow. Do you mind? I'm trying to conduct a professional interrogation over here. Where should I put this? Just shove it behind the bar. I'll just shove you behind the bar. Oh, mm. bar talk. Tin. Do I get to be a part of this fight, Tin? Come on, Artie. Jeez, how much chloroform did you put on that rag anyway? What? Because I'm having a hard time bringing Sleeping Beauty here around. Uh, Let me see. Uh, how do they not notice that the lid is halfway off? We got a few questions That's what I like to know. Yeah, D-E-D. That makes sense. Seems to be catching. Zane, wake up. Oh, sorry, boss. Okay, so that dude's name is Zane. Well, try to stay awake long enough to finish that poster, will ya? We got a club to open in a few days. And turn off that sign, would you? Yeah, turn off that kid sign. Wake up, sleepyhead. Okay, so what am I supposed to do here now? Like, how am I supposed to rescue him? Dispatch the goons and rescue Artie. And he just sneezed on the poster. Well, that's great. Some chloroform? Is it that way you put on the rack? No wonder Artie's so out of it. Okay, so we got that now. Um, there's a panic button right here. Ice cream. Hey, hey! What hey. is that? There must be some wiring problems with the emergency button. Or maybe a kid just turned it on. Kids ice cream. Oh crap, he's gonna see me, ain't he? Still can't get Trixie's nose right. Um Matches. Oh, guess his name is Matches. Okay. Oh god. Crap. Okay, took him long enough. Hey, a bottle fell. Maybe we need that bottle now. You're trying my patience, Artie. He's asleep. Now leave him alone. What's this bottle for? Dermot's Canadian whiskey. I hope the sisters of okay. mercy approve of our redecorating. <laughs> so we can't go that way. Okay. So what else do I need? Um, we can look over the counter. There's an ink bottle, a sheet of paper. What do I spy with my little eye? Word games? I didn't get to read the rest of that. Okay, there's an ink I can't bottle. Take that. Zane would know something's up. You could oh, replace it with a chloroform. Stupid. I doubt he'll notice since he's like sick and all that. Okay, so. We got that. So maybe we can use this chloroph... Oops. Um, can we use both of these together? The chloroform and the street to knock him out? I guess not. I'm sure he could explain it to me, but it's probably not a good idea to ask. Yeah, why don't you just ask him about it? Say so he must be nearsighted. He keeps his nose very close to his brush as he walks. Okay. You can use the chloroform directly on Zane, but look. That's what I said. I said, why don't we, why don't we replace them? But we're giving the option to. I guess I had to do that. And then that. See, I had that idea to replace it. Well, guess he's not going to replace it, but whatever. Oh, hey, guys. I don't feel so. And now he's falling asleep. Zane. 
Well, one down, one to go. Must have been the cold. Or two to go. He's been dipping into the inventory. The inventory. 